Welcome. Let's take a look at an example of using differentials to re estimate the square root of 15.8. So the first thing I notice when I look at this uh, value square root of 15.8 is that I'm going to be dealing with the square root function. So when I uh, want to use differentials to help estimate, I do need to first identify the function that we'll be dealing with. <clears throat> Next, I notice that I'm taking the square root of 15.8. Well, I need to choose a value, a, that um, is easily evaluated in my original function, my square root function. And that value, a, needs to be close to um, the number that I'm working with. So I want to choose a number that's close to 15.8, but is easily evaluated in the square root function. Well, 15.8 is close to 16, and the square root of 16 is something that can be easily evaluated. So in this case, we'll think of a as, or we'll choose a to be 16. Now, we're doing this because the square root of 15.8 um, is close to the square root of 16 because 15.8 itself is close to uh, the number 16. But recall that with differentials, we need to know what dx is. We need to determine that value. And so what we need to do is find out what is the change of an x that takes us from 16, where we're building our differential, to the value we're truly interested in. So what is the um, change in x from 16, where we're building the differential, to the value we're interested in, 15.8. Well, if we consider the x-axis, and we uh, call this six, location 16, then 15.8 will lie to the left of 16, and so our differential or our dx will need to go in a negative, be negative because we're moving to the left. And so dx or delta x should be um, negative 0.2 units. So for our differential, dx is going to be negative 0.2. Okay, a um, couple other things that we need for our differential. We know that we will need um, f prime at a as well uh, as part of our differential. So um, let's go ahead and do that. So if f of x is the square root of x, f prime of x is 1 half x to the negative 1 half power or 1 over 2 times the square root of x. And then we need to evaluate that at a, so we need f prime at 16, and that's going to be 1 over 2 times the square root of 16. And the square root of 16 is 4, so our denominator is 2 times 4, and so 2 times 4 is 8, so f prime at 16 will give us 8. Okay, so now we have everything that we need for our differential. So let's go ahead and start. So we've got the square root of 15.8. And we're saying that this is equal to the square root of 16 plus some small change in y. Because uh, the argument or the radicand 15.8 is close to 16, but they are not the same. So there will be some small change in y. 
Now, because uh, we're dealing with numbers that are not perfect squares, then this delta y is not easily computed. So in place of delta y, we will use the differential dy. So the square root of 15.8 is approximately equal to the square root of 16 plus dy. And this is where our differential comes into play. So the square root of 15.8 is approximately equal to, the square root of 16 is 4, plus dy. Now dy is f prime at 16 times our dx, which was negative 0 0.2. So our square root of 15.8 is approximately equal to 4 plus um, our f prime of 16 was 1 8 times the negative uh, 0 0.2. So our square root of 15.8 is approximately, now if we use a calculator, uh, we find that this is 4 minus 0 0.025 which means that the square root of 15.8 using our differential is approximately 3.975. Now, um, we can use a calculator which implements a slightly different strategy for approximating 15, square root of 15.8. Um, typically a more efficient and accurate strategy and compare that result to what we got using our differential. So if I were to use a calculator, also using a calculator, just to understand how well this uh, approximates, we find that the square root of 15.8 is approximately 3.974921, and it does keep going. So what I want you to notice here is that um, if we round to three decimal places, noticing that that nine is there, notice how accurate our um, approximation using differentials is in estimating the value of square root of 15.8. I hope you find this helpful.